Well, if you're like me, you've got a ton of good intentions and fewer finished projects. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd take all these photos that I have lying around that just haven't managed to make it onto a scrapbook page, you know? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these photos into banners. It's a whole way of inventing something new from something you already have sitting around. So now because these are photos, I wanna use a pen or a marker that's gonna dry quickly, you know, and not smear all over the place. So this is just a dye-based marker. And you can see it's a little bit transparent. So when you go over two different colors, you actually get two different colors. And I kind of like the surprise factor of not quite knowing what you're going to get. Now, I don't necessarily want this picture of my brother and his girlfriend to be the focus of my banner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a letter sticker of whatever the word is that I am spelling out. I'm going to, oops, I have the inside of that sticker right there. And this is also a great way to use up leftover letter stickers. You can use a whole miscellaneous collection of them. I'm just gonna stick it right down there in the middle of the photo. And there's not a lot of contrast between that white B and the beach towels. So I'm just gonna trace right around the inside of that, color it in, and suddenly, at least the inside of that B is popping right off. And I can go around the edges, and I'm not worrying too much about where I'm going or what's happening. And if any ink gets on the sticker, I'm not concerned about it. And it's not smearing, you'll notice, which is very important. You'll also notice that where things are darker, like in her hair, you don't see much of the marker. And that's because the marker is only sticking to the places, really, where the photo paper's exposed. So you get, again, this kind of cool, transparent look, which I really like. Now, you can do something really general, like I'm doing here, where I'm just kind of smushing color all over the place, which is a really fun way to do it. And you could have kids make their own birthday party banners and stuff like that, or for a sibling or a parent for Mother's Day or something like that. Or you can actually get really specific and do some serious doodling. So now I'm gonna take another letter, let's see, and I'm gonna stick it right in the middle of this photo. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to do something really specific. So doodles are all built in pieces. So I'm just doing a circle and anybody can doodle a circle. That's not hard and it's not even an even circle. It's a wonky circle that's kind of all over the place. I mean, technically speaking, it's probably an oval. But we're not gonna focus on that. We're just gonna enjoy the coloring. And you'll notice, by the way, that I color with the side of this brush tip. I don't actually color with the point because if I color with the point, what's gonna happen, and I'll show you right here, is you get a very thin line and it would just take me a long time. And you know, I'm a totally lazy crafter. So I'm always gonna turn it to the side so I get that nice thick impression, more bang for your buck, so to speak. And you can see again, all doodles are built of simple, simple drawings. So there I've just added some stripes. And now let's add some scallops, I think. I think scallops are always a good choice. And I'm gonna go ahead and just bump, 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 bump. And one of the nice things too about doodling is that I think you sort of can relax and find a zen place in your mind. You don't have to focus on it too much. It doesn't demand a ton of your attention. And I also think that when you outline, as I have here with the green, and then fill in with the blue, that contrast just makes it look more detailed and more exciting. And remember, you don't have to stick to one color. I can change in the middle. It's not like all the scallops have to be uniform. You definitely don't have to get bored when you have a big box of colors, you know? You just keep flipping through them and relaxing and having a good time. And they dry so quickly that you notice that I could put that yellow right up against the green and there was no smearing, no contamination, no problems whatsoever. And here I'm just adding a stick and a ball, a stick and a ball, a stick and a ball, a stick and a ball. And again, it just adds so much fun to the whole project. Now, another really simple doodle to do, which I will show you, is you can do little triangles, okay? That's not hard to do, and these are wonky triangles. I like to keep everything a little bit wonky. And then I'm gonna add a tiny little shadow on it. So I just go underneath, okay? Underneath, underneath, and isn't that a cool idea? Now, of course, I have a little banner down here where what I've done is I've simply outlined it 
with the marker and put a little sparkly letter sticker in the middle. And this photo, in fact, I've even cut out the center and colored the whole thing. And if you look at this larger banner, these are truly miscellaneous photos. And I bet when you first looked at it, you didn't even notice that they were photos. And all I did was doodle all over them and then string it on a little pretty piece of baker's twine. So I hope this gave you some good ideas of what you can do with your leftover photos. We'll be right back.